People tend to glorify such lifestyle. In a passionate plea, Brandon O'Brien, a mortician with Lazarus Funeral Home, pleaded with young people to reject violent lifestyles. O'Brien, who has witnessed the devastating consequences of gang violence firsthand, spoke to Southern correspondent Desmond Collimo this week. He was among the panelists who addressed the students of the Miku Secondary School at an anti-crime activity hosted in collaboration with the Education for Democratic Citizenship. O'Brien laments the glorification of a life consumed by materialism and crime. He argues that such a path leads to isolation, a constant fear of being targeted, and ultimately a tragic end. The funeral home veteran, who has seen many violent crime scenes, describes the profound pain he witnesses in families who have lost loved ones to violence. I've seen a lot of parents hurting. I personally have been part of the morticians and the undertakers are the individuals who go and pick up these people. And I constantly have mothers and fathers grabbing me, screaming, asking, don't take away my child, don't take away my son, don't take away my daughter, and the hurt and the tears in their eyes. No discount, no counseling can just get this burden off their back. Is that the lifestyle you want for your family? A raft of viral social media videos have emerged showing young people, including teenage girls, posing with illegal firearms and glorifying gang culture. O'Brien offered a glimpse into the grim realities faced by morticians dealing with victims of violent crime. The extensive time it takes for investigations and autopsies can leave bodies in a state unsuitable for open casket funerals. As, as a mortician, what a lot of people don't realize is the conditions that people tend to be after such situations. Again, the display in the first place, it doesn't take a now for now for when the person passes away to when they are presented for funeral. There's a whole police procedure and sometimes that takes two, three, a month of investigation before they even give the okay for an autopsy. And in that three to four weeks time period, the body already starts deteriorating. You can't even tell who that person is. They get really dark. And in worst case scenarios, you can't even have a proper viewing for such individuals. And I, again, I quote, is that the life you want? Because I now have to take my time and try my hardest to formulate or make you look somewhat resembling to what you used to be. And in the end, not even your friends and families can attend such funerals out of fear that it could be me. The hit doesn't stop at just because they got you. It fuels that I did not take enough. I must get some more. So now you can't even have a proper burial, sadly, after living such a short life. It's just into a church, into the ground, and life move on. O'Brien delivered a heartfelt message to young people, urging them to pursue a different path. And for my young people out there, I plead to you, I am tired of picking up or hearing that you pass away. This life is not worth it. There are countless opportunities. Sometimes it may not start as the grand gesture of making all the money you want or getting exactly what you want, but step by step, you can make it out there without just going for the fast and quick access of these material and monetary items. O'Brien well, expressed hope his words would encourage young people to make positive choices and avoid the pitfalls of violence. St. Lucia has seen a dramatic upswing in gun-related homicides since 2017, following two decades of violence crime. The island nation has also recorded record-setting homicide rates in 2017, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.